Hello and welcome to the Wednesday, November 1st, 2023 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. If you're looking in the reverse analysis of malicious Python scripts on Windows, a nice post here by Xavier looking at various anti-sandboxing techniques that Xavier found in one particular script. This script took advantage of the Microsoft API and it used it to check, first of all, if it's running inside a debugger, then if there's enough physical memory available, is there actually a user behind the keyboard and is the mouse moving? And then of course, if the script is spending too much time in a debugger. Interesting uh, techniques and of course something that you need to be ready for if you are reverse engineering uh, malware and a nice list here from Xavier. So take a look at what he found. And then we got yet another Confluence Data Center and Server Vulnerability CVE 2023-22518. This one allows an unauthenticated attacker to essentially the way the vulnerability sounds to delete data. Since there's no authentication required, Adelation does recommend that you take immediate action. Their cloud instances, of course, are not affected here. So something to worry about if you're still self-hosting these applications. And then we got more attacks targeting developers. Malwarebytes is reporting that they have seen some malicious advertisements, malvertisements uh, promising some uh, serial keys for JetBrains PyCharm. PyCharm is a well-respected Python integrated development environment, uh, so it's not really a problem with a PyCharm we're talking about here. It's just that these malicious actors are tricking developers into installing their malicious version of the product, which of course comes with a good amount of uh, malicious add-ons. Interestingly, they picked some random wedding planning website that is of course compromised in order to place their malicious ads and then the downloads. Like so many malicious ads that we have seen uh, at uh, Google, this one takes advantage of uh, the uh, dynamic landing page feature, which uh, makes them sort of more effective if people are searching for specific keywords, like in that case, PyCharm. And then we have a uh, remote code execution vulnerability in the Thorn technology SFTP gateway. Uh, this is a product that sort of goes between SFTP clients and a cloud storage, in particular AWS S3. The couple of interesting things here about this vulnerability, which I cover it. First of all, it is actually a CVE of 2016, 2016 1000027, apparently underlying really a a spring framework vulnerability that is uh, causing the issue and a CSS score of 9.8. Not absolutely sure how popular this particular product is. And if you use it, let me know. I would like to get a feel for how popular it is. It has a little bit that move it smell kind of a similar type of application and the vulnerability uh, should certainly uh, be exploitable. There's also a CVE number specifically for the SFTP gateway version of this vulnerability, and that's CVE 2023-47174. Updates have been released. Well, and that's it for today. Thanks for listening, and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.